What is that good word? Gang Mad here, country song teacher. I hope you're doing well. I'm going to switch up a little bit. I'm going to play a song from my Morgan Wallen favorite songbook, Cover Me Up. Y'all know this one. I'm just going to teach the chorus, and my goal with this video is to teach you just a few tricks as far as transitioning chords and a couple of things you see me do, people that write me comments and ask me about. I'm going to show you very close up detail how I do those. So let me play through it first. So the chords are going to be a D and a G, then even an E minor and a B minor. But you're going to start out that D, it's going to go. So girl, leave your blues bad bed. Say the chord, here's the chords, here's the count, a four count. But I want this lesson to be a little more detailed than that. And hopefully, like I said, give me a blessing to some of you all that, that is just starting out. So if you look up, <coughs> excuse me, I'm still choking from my cold. I had a week ago. If you look up a D chord, you're gonna see the third string and second string. I mean the bottom string of the second fret and second string of the third fret, and string of the bottom four. That's what you're gonna see is a D chord. A lot of times you know when I I always say lock in the two bottom strings play your G, C, minor, D, that kind of thing. So I might have the two bottom strings locked and press the third string and sound that way. What you see me often doing, video, a lot of times I do my D chord with just the ring finger on the second string and the first finger on the third string. And I'll, and I'll even, I'll even kind of play it with just really that one string. And then I'll, after I strum down, add that third string. So let's start out on this first chord, a D chord without your middle finger on the bottom string. So your boots. Right there. So instead of regular D chord, take the bottom string off to get a little bit higher sound, a little bit uh, uh, pure sound. So girl, leave your boots by the... Now notice what I do here. I've got these two strings pressed. Girl, leave your boots by the... After the, I'm putting my pinky down to lock in the two bottom strings. And I'm going up fifth, sixth, bad, we ain't leaving this. So I went from a D up, locked in the two bottom strings, up to a G. But I'm also hammer on, taking my first finger on off that fifth string. So it's Don't leave your boots by the bed, even this room. See, I was regular G, then I add it for one full G. I mean, a, a G without my first finger, then I add it, then I'm back to D. Same thing, G. Now notice that little transition. So watch this. Girl, leave your boots by the bed. We in this room. No one needs to tell the depth. So that's a little trick you see me do often. I don't talk about it enough. Because it makes you sound like you're adding like a little solo or something a little bit fancier. But all you're doing is within that G chord. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum, bum. Strum, 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 strum. And each strum, off, on, off, on. So girl, leave your boots by the bed. We ain't leaving this room. Off, on, off. Someone needs medical help. Or the back Off, on, off, cold. See that? Off, on, off. And now I go to the E minor chord. I'm going to leave my ring finger on that second string. The third fret, I'm pressing. You can use two fingers, you have smaller hands. Press the fifth and fourth strings. Cold in this house. Now I'm kind of slowing it down, just down strums. Cold in this house and I. Then I'm locking the two bottom strings. Back to G. They ain't going out to chop wood. It's about B minor chords. I get so many comments on. If you can do a bar chord where you bar and go like that, that's great. What you see me do so many times is play an A minor. Second, fourth, and third. Slid up. Finish on the bottom floor. So it's cold in this house tonight. Oh, at the chop wood. So see, see, even on that B minor, a lot of times I'll I'll play it without that four string press. 
so cover me. Then I'm gonna go back to that, um, this this D chord without the bottom string. Uh, no, you're enough. So D enough to use me for me. So that, like I said, it's a little trick. Rather than always just saying, here's the lyrics, here's the chords, here's the counts per time, I want to switch it up sometimes because my goal is to get y'all playing this instrument and get you as good as possible. I still myself, I've said this often, guys, I have so much to learn. I still learn from a lot of you guys and gals out there. There's good channels out there, guys and girls, that teach this instrument. Uh, great stuff that you want to check out other channels. I hope I can be a blessing to you as well. But just giving you a few little exercises, maybe play just... I always say a great exercise for a beginner is just learn to fool around with that D chord. So I'm putting that pinky finger inside that third frame. Pinky finger off, middle off. So you gotta. So that's a great little exercise, little exercise for you to work on. But just doing those kind of, learning those, how to, how to transition between chords is really key because you don't always have to be playing a D, totally take your hand off, play a G, totally take your hand off, play an E minor, totally take, if you can learn <coughs> certain strings to keep pressed, like I said, this one in particular, a lot of times it's just that second string. It's gonna help your transitions, help your playing, that kind of thing. So hope this is blessing you guys. Like I said, if you wanna get the new Morgan Wallen songbook, I've got a little combo deal with my Morgan Wallen and Luke Combs combo for like 25 bucks, or you can get just a Morgan Wallen book for 15, 16, so. Check out the website, countrysongteacher.com. Tell you y'all already have it. Let me tell you also, this Tuesday, um, June the, let's see, 4th, 5th, 6th, I think it's 27th, 26th, 27th, this Tuesday, I got my worship, my four chord worship volume two coming out. I'm gonna go live uh, on my YouTube channel also this Tuesday, so be sure to uh, check that out. In the meantime, go to countrysongteacher.com scoop you up a songbook and you'll be glad you did shoot me a message on instagram let me know what book you got i'd appreciate it love you guys let's go why did, i don't know why i did that i got i just i never do a kiss the peace but i don't know who's my editor cut that out <laughs>